What if by Anthony Brown? Joe was going to his first big party. It was at his friend's Tom's house. But Joe had lost the invitation, so he didn't know the house number. It's okay, Joe, said Mom. Tom lives somewhere on this street. We'll find it. So they set off. Oh, but what if there's someone at the party I don't know? That's fine. It's nice to meet new people. Not if they're horrible. Oh, they won't be, Joe. Look, do you think that's Tom House? No, said Joe. What if there's a lot of people there? There might be. Hope not. Is this the house? No, said Joe. What if I don't like the food? I'm sure they'll have lots of lovely things to eat. Is this the house? No, said Joe. What if they play scary games? They won't love, only nice ones. But how do you know? Is this it? No, said Joe. When will you come and get me? Oh, in about a couple of hours. Can't you come earlier? asked Joe. What if, if it's awful? <laughs> You'll enjoy it, said Mum. I bet you won't want to come home. I bet I will, said Joe. Is this the house? asked Mum. No, said Joe. They had come to the end of the street. That's odd. We must have walked right past it. Never mind, Mum. Let's go home. Then they saw it. Tom's house. Joe didn't notice the door opening slowly. Come in, Joe! Great to see you, Joe! Thanks for coming! Hee-haw, Joe! And Joe went in. And Mum went home. Oh, I hope Joe will be all right. Of course he will. It's only a party. But what if he's really unhappy? Two hours later... Knock, knock! Mum went in. Hi, Mom! I had a great time! Oh, good, said Mom. I was wondering, Joe, if you'd like to have a party on your birthday. <gasps> yes, please, said Joe.